You ever watch those Notion tutorials that feel like they're written by a TV show trying to prove that the character is a nerd? If so, I apologize, I'm a big old Notion nerd. Notion can be overwhelming though, and it might have caused you to sit down watching countless videos, using countless templates and saying, screw it, I'm switching to Trello. Don't be crazy, you're not that desperate. See, I started Notion like you, a silly goose, a loser, a confused silly goose. But now, I speak Notion as a second language, but if you're trying to learn a second language, or third if you're a real big dog, then you won't jump straight into phrases like onomatopoeia or wishtishesos or subscribe. I said subscribe. You start by learning basic shit. So let's do that. Let's make a databaseless Notion setup together. Ah. Now I've seen your disgusting Notion dashboard that you think qualifies for a productive workspace. Um, gross. That won't cut it. You'll need an actual calendar. Why? You'll be planning the next seven days. This method is used by productivity junkies all over the world. And having done it now for a while, you can trust my review when I say, that shit's fire, five star. So we'll do forward slash calendar. Now, some nerd in the comment section might be saying, but that's a database. Here's the thing, shut up. It's a calendar. I know it's technically a database type, but shut up. Now what we're going to do is click these three dots and we're just going to change the layout to show calendar as week. That way we don't have to see the full month. And then we're going to click on the three dots at the top and click full width. This here is your canvas. You are a painter and it's time to make a fucking masterpiece. But now you do need something to put on that canvas and that, you silly goose, is your tasks. So down here, we won't use a task database, even though it's better, but that's okay. We'll have four columns, work, personal, side hustle or hobby, and fitness. Now, what you'll do is bibbity bop some tasks under these headers. Ooh, look at that, some fake tasks. Now we'll plan out your week. This is actually a big part of my Notion course, link in the description if you're interested. It teaches genuine productivity and how to implement that inside of Notion. Not stuff like Inbox Zero and all these other pointless productivity placebos. Anyway, to plan our week, what we'll do is drag the tasks to the day that we'll do it. Look at that, you did it, you planned something. Now, I won't go into properties and all this other stuff because it might be too confusing and I get that. But your internet obsession tells me that you know what an emoji is, right? We're going to use emojis. And here's the rule. Big old scary tasks, we're going to give them a blue emoji. And only have two blue emojis per day. That's it. See, your brain can't do more than four hours per day of big brain energy. Also referred to as cognitively demanding tasks. And so a task that's labeled blue means it's a two hour task where you're using a lot of that brain energy. It's a lot of thinking. You have to really concentrate. You have to be in the flow state of mind. So we're going to have two of those tasks per day. This way of planning has genuinely changed my life. Now you might be saying, thank you, kind sir. I have subscribed and I'll reply to that. It's the least you could do. And then you'll reply, but how do I know which tasks I've completed? And I'll reply, after all of this, you're still a silly goose. See, all you have to do is simply change the emoji to a green check emoji. That's it. Now you have a freaking effective beginner databaseless Notion dashboard. Now, I want to be clear, databases in Notion are a game changer. My headquarters productivity template uses quite a few databases and it's the reason that it's so effective. If you're looking for something that is more powerful but doesn't require you actually building it in Notion, then click on this video here to check it out. It'll help you to organize your projects, habit tracking, time tracking, managing life buckets, journaling, and just managing all of your work like a pro. Click on this video here to check it out. Thanks for watching.